Welcome to another daily episode of SAP Analytics Cloud. This time we're going to take a look at the blending part that we prepared before and the impact on the aggregation. How, so we're going to use the two data sets we had before, customer as dimensions, we have revenue, discount values, and the order value as part of the second data set. So what we're going to try to do is actually use measures from both data sets. So we want to see the revenue and the discount value from the last year, the order value from the this year from the second data set, and we want to do a calculation. And that's the one that we're paying attention to. The calculation will be the discount value in percentages. So we're going to start building our story based on the data sets we had from the other two sessions. So we're going to start a new table. And we're going to choose the customer by country. So we're going to configure the table with the customer in the rows, and then we're going to show the revenue and the discount value. And we're going to do a very similar thing for the second table. But remember, we also wanted to see the numbers actually aggregated by country and region. So we're going to change that in the second. So we're going to add the second table here for the second data set and we're going to show the customer as well and we have the order value. So now we're going to actually add a calculation for our first data set. So we want to see the percentage value that the discount was made up for. So basically we calculate the percentage like discount value by revenue We're going to add this calculation then to the table. So here we can see all the three numbers and we can change now the layout of the table. And we're going to change the table now to show the country and the region. So we can see everything aggregates in the right way. So for the second step, we're going to add a new page. We're going to put the table in and this time we're going to create the linked model. So basically we go in, we pick our first data set, customer by country. We're going to set up the linked dimension based on the customer ID. And then we're going to place all the elements into a single table. So country and region. And we're going to start adding our measures. So we're also adding the measures from the second data set now. And here we have all the numbers except our percentage value. So now we're going to add the percentage value and we're going to see what happens. So the discount in percent. And as you can see, for example, California shows up with 89%, which in case you remember, it was just 21%. So what just happened? So we basically now going to have to take a look at the details and we're going to create a new page. We're going to create a new table and go into basically what just happened here. So we have two data sets, the customer by country and the orders by country. So now we're going to go in and we actually add the level of detail that the system will use. So in this case, it's country, region and customer. We're linking on the customer. So the customer is basically part of all this. So what you see in front of you right now, this is exactly the level of detail the system will use to actually create the numbers. 
So in this case, it will calculate the discount in percent based on the customer. And because we then use country and region only in the table, it is being aggregated. And in this case, it's aggregated as a sum. So keep that in mind when you're using blended data sets, that in these kind of situation, the aggregation that you see might be sometimes different from actually what you would expect it, depending on which dimensions are used as part of the actual linking. So let's take a look at the three steps. First, the system will query all the source models. In our case, the two data sets. In the second step, any data source specific formulas will be calculated. So in our case, the discount in percent is something that is being actually calculated in step number two, because it only needs the first data source to calculate it. In step three, the blending is happening. So now we basically have the customer part of it as well, and it is also being aggregated. So in our case, the aggregation basically then happens and it's using a sum, which is why in the second example, we see 89% instead of seeing 21%. I hope this was helpful information and I want to say thank you for watching and listening.